Hey guys, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor and today I'm going to show you how to replace the ice maker on your Samsung refrigerator. Okay, so to get started we'll need to put the refrigerator into defrost mode. And to do that we're going to hold down the energy saver button and the refrigerator button for about 8 seconds. Next, press this button. Press it again. Press it again. And one more time until it says FD. This is in a forced defrost mode and you'll need to leave it in this mode for roughly five minutes to let the ice maker defrost. Okay, so when you're ready to take it back out of the force defrost mode, you're gonna repeat the same process by holding down these two buttons. And then pressing the fridge button one more time, and now it's back out of the force defrost mode. Now we're gonna turn off the refrigerator by holding down these two buttons. Next we'll need to remove the ice bucket. You'll just want to lift up and pull out. Some of the older models also had a button that you'd have to push up here to release it. Using a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to remove the wire housing cover screw. And with that screw removed, you just pull forward on the cover and it'll come right out. With that cover removed, we can now depress this locking tab and unplug the wiring harness going to the ice maker. All right, using a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to remove the screw for the ice tray duct. So for this next step, you're going to take a flat blade screwdriver and what you're going to try to do is you're going to put it in this little slot over on the left side and you're going to pry the tray so it goes over this way. With that going over to the right, you can pull down to release it. So one of the things that makes this ice maker unique is that it has a cooling coil that runs directly on the bottom side of the ice maker. And that's why at the beginning, one of the first steps is that you have to go through the defrost cycle. You wanna make sure that there's no ice or frost on this coil because when you try to pry it down, you don't want it to be stuck in place. If you damage this coil, you have to replace the refrigerator, there's no fixing it. So do not try to chip any ice off of it because you could puncture a hole in it and ruin the entire refrigerator. So the next step is just take a flat blade screwdriver and you're gonna pry down this coil just enough so that way that when you slide the ice maker out, the coil will stay in place but the ice maker will slide out forward. Okay, now the last thing we need to do to release the ice maker is press this, depress this locking tab here at the top. And then you'll be able to just grab the ice maker and slide it forward. And while you're doing that, just make sure that that coil underneath the ice maker is free and not snagging on anything. If you already have a new ice maker, great. If not, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com, and order one directly from our website. All the parts that we sell are brand new OEM authentic parts. Okay, so to install the ice maker, you're first gonna to wanna to make sure you have this bottom tray open. 
Other thing to note is these two slots here, they're gonna be lining up with two pieces that stick down from the ceiling, and they're gonna be sliding into these slots to lock it into place. So when you put the ice maker in, you wanna make sure that the coolant loop goes through the opening in the back here. Also make sure you have all these black rubber pieces. There should be six of them on this bottom tray. And you should notice that it clicks into place with that top notch once it's in the correct place. Then you can just push up that coolant loop to push it back into place. And you can push up the bottom duct until it snaps and locks into place. Using a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to reinstall the screw into the lower duct cover. Next, we will plug the electrical plug back in. Make sure that the harness from the ice maker gets routed into this slot right here first. And push the plug in. until the locking tab locks into place. Now take the wiring harness cover and you're just going to slide it back into place. And then reinstall the mounting screw. Now we will slide the ice bucket back into place. Now we'll turn back on the refrigerator by holding down the energy saver and freezer buttons. And we just turned the compressor kick back on. One last thing about the ice makers, once you get that new ice maker put in, just make sure you're giving it time to cool back down for it to start making ice. It can take minimum one to two hours, sometimes it can take six to 12 hours before it'll cool down enough before you'll start making ice. Just be patient with it. Leave that ice bucket installed and leave the doors closed in the refrigerator to let it cool down as fast as possible. If you're getting excessive moisture ice or frost building up inside the ice maker compartment, take a flashlight and shine it along the bottom edge here. And if you can see light on the inside of the ice maker compartment, you'll need to seal that up using a uh, special silicone. I'll include a link to that silicone in the description below. Some earlier versions of this refrigerator that use this ice maker have a older style Y-clip, and there's a Y-clip kit that includes this rectangle-shaped plastic bracket and these two metal clips. If you're getting excessive moisture buildup, it's recommended to replace that also. I'll include a link in the description below to that part. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video today on how to replace this ice maker. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button below. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you guys have any tips on how to replace this ice maker yourself or what you found that fixed that moisture buildup issue in that ice maker compartment, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks, have a good one.